Been been two years yeah. like I was paddy wagon cruising. She used to charge it, dunce capping and gazooing. I was just assuming you keep the coat moving, but I got one question. What the fuck y'all been doing? Pyrex stirs turns into Kavali furs. The full name cat when I wave the kitty bird. Guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Uh, before we get into this video, I do want to offer a big RIP to Chris, Mr. Siage. Um, I wasn't a huge, I wasn't really friends with him, uh, but he commented on my videos and a couple weeks ago he hit me up with a friend request and uh, I just didn't really get to it and I never accepted it. I, I feel very bad about that today. Um, I did accept it post uh, posthumously um, and uh, I'm sorry and I want to wish him and his family condolences. And, uh, you know, to those who are really grieving, I'm so sorry. And, you know, to everyone else out there, don't, don't fuck with them opiates and heroin, man. It's a path that is just the wrong path to go down. You know, we're in a day and age when there's a lot of <clears throat> safer alternatives to, uh, to that type of stuff out there. Um, and, and just be real careful, you know, and uh, reach out if you're struggling. So, RIP, Mr. Siaj. We've made a huge impact in a short amount of time. Rest in peace. Um, I, and by the way, I didn't want to do a whole video because I, I thought that would be very disingenuous for me. I really, I really didn't know him, um, but uh, I wish I did. I'll tell you that much. Um, so this is a video I wanted to quick do, quickly do on a, on a much lighter note um, on some of the products I use in my shower. I had done a. Um, video on a like shaving routine and the oral care routine and so just quickly some of the products that I use when I take a shower. Maybe I could put a couple people on to something they weren't aware of. Now as far as soap goes, um, I did a whole video on the sandalwood, the Mysore Sandalwood Centennial soap that I use. So I actually don't have that product in front of me. It's in my shower and the bar is wet and it's sitting there so I don't want to pull it out and put it on my table but you can check that video out. Um, I like to use that in the summertime and in the wintertime. I like to use the Hermes Orange Vera Concentrate Soap. It's funny because I don't love that fragrance, but I love the soap. I just think it's really fresh and invigorating. And in the winter when it's cold, it gives you a little burst of spring, summer. So those are really the soaps that I use. Now, I also use shower gels. Um, and I'm sort of going between two now. What I usually do is in the morning, I use a shower gel. I take two showers a day usually. In the morning, I'll do a gel, and in the evening, I'll do a soap, or I'll switch it up. Um, the one I'm using right now that I really love is this Kiehl's um, Original Musk. You guys know how much I love this fragrance. Um, this isn't as hardcore as the fragrance. The fragrance is way more musky and animalic. This is sort of just like spicy and musky. It's, it's, it's still really good, but it's not as as musky as the fragrance, which, you know, might be a little off-putting. It's gorgeous though, and I highly recommend it. And then sometimes when I'm in the mood for something a little lighter, um, Mr. Taylor's, you guys might not might know, is a um, is an English shave house, and they have these um, body and hair washes. I think, I think you should use a real shampoo and not a body wash for your hair. So I use a body wash. This is Mr. Taylor's, um, Mr. Taylor's body wash, body and hair wash. And it's got a great, um, uh, beautiful barbershop sort of black pepper fougere smell. So I sort of go back and forth on using these two. Uh, you guys know my face wash. I've talked about this a million times. It's the only one that I use. Oh, other good um, body washes, by the way. Um, the Aramis Cologne shower gels are really good. Molten Brown Black Pepper is really good. Baxter does, Baxter of California does a citrus one well. And the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, it's expensive. Again, I don't love that fragrance, but the body wash is insane. Um, face wash, this Nave. Um, I use all different um, uh, aromas, but I love this one. This is, I believe, the aloe. Um, they have a peach one. They have a mint one. These just, just foams up so well and your face will never feel cleaner and they're like eight dollars nothing is fucking with that um always in the shower i highly recommend this for head and toes it's just a simple nail brush you put a little bit of body wash or whatever on this or soap and you know 
just go through your nails, get them extra clean, do it for your toenails as well. Um, a great, great product. And again, you can get one of these for like four or five dollars. I highly, highly recommend it. For my hair, um, really two products. For my shampoo, I alternate um, between this, this Jason Thin to Thick. This is amazing, amazing shampoo. Is it gonna make your hair, you know, <laughs> look like uh, it's a thick mousse? Not necessarily, um, but it does a good job of, pl it has proteins in it and uh, biotins, I think. Yep, and they do a good job of sort of plumping the hair up, making it look a little bit more full. Um, and then uh, I don't have any more, I need to get it, but Aesop also makes really, really good shampoo. And when I have an Aesop, um, I'll go back and forth with the Aesop and the Jason. But this is really good. You get this at Whole Foods and I think it's like 11 bucks. This I wanna say is like seven, this is like 15 and this is like 20. So nothing like super crazy. And then for my conditioner, um, Lush makes really good conditioner bars so i'm going to highly recommend them but this is my favorite and it seems to be sold out everywhere online but um pastores does have it so if you're really looking for it go to pastores they have the lemon and the coconut this is dr harrison company condi uh, coconut oil conditioner and it just smells like a freshly cracked coconut it's like a cream and what i do is after i wash my hair I get a goop of this out, I comb it through my hair, slick it back, do the rest of my routine, you know, wash up, do my nails, I sound like a bra, do my nails, um, and then I wash it out. And then, this really isn't a shower thing, but then when I jump out of the shower, um, I actually have a review coming with a new deodorant company that does like a subscription service, so stay tuned for that, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how that is. But this really works well, this spec, men deodorant stick um, again i got this from past stores like 10 bucks really really good really nice barbershop smell i don't mind like mitchell uh, mitchum is it i think it's mitchum's um or like you know um the clear gel what do they call gillette like those are fine but i like you know i like to do something a little bit more special and i find the speck has just this wonderful um aroma it's sort of a, a like a bowl um texture yeah. um, and it's a stick and I guess it doesn't have aluminum in it which is which is always good don't want your armpit to get cancer um, so that's it that's sort of my shower routine it's gonna be a little bit one minute a quick video just to show you what I use what I like to use when I'm in the shower um, maybe I'll do another one next year let me know if you want to see like a hair hairstyle one or a um, or a like a skincare one in the future, those will probably be pretty short as well, but hey, just, just wanted to do a little video like this for you. And again, you think, I think you see, like every product here, nothing's more than 20 bucks. And um, I think they're better than what you're gonna find at like your CVS or your Walmart. You know what I'm saying? I think these are just better products. So that's it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week with more videos. My name is Break down keys in the dimes and sell them like gobstoppers. Who gon' stop us? Not a goddamn one of ya. Mean with the re-up, nigga with street tumblers. Ivory white, yeah that's the same color of a Zor, nigga. Best believe.